that wig look healthy. <laughs> Hear ye, hear ye. Your girl washed a synthetic wig. Listen. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by Janet Collection. They sent me some products to review for you guys. Now before we get into this wash and condition, I want y'all to know I already reviewed this wig. So I will link the initial install for this wig down below. This video is about the wash, okay? The washing of a synthetic wig. Y'all know I don't do that, okay? I just go ahead and buy another wig. I got a whole shelf over there of wigs, but all of us may not have the funds to buy a synthetic wig over and over. So you may want to go ahead and revamp what you already have. These products that I'm showing you guys today will do just that because this wig right here, <laughs> Go ahead and give me a thumbs up off the looks alone. I think it looks better than it did when I did the initial install. Just saying, it's giving me real like juicy rap. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, before we get into these products, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay, so for today's video, we are washing our synthetic wigs. Y'all know, if you've been here for a while, I don't wash no wigs, okay? I just go ahead and buy another one because I don't got time. But Janet Collection, along with Esha, decided, we got you, sis. We got the shampoo and the leave-in conditioner detangler to get your wigs back together. It does say you can use this on human and synthetic hair wigs, weaves, and hair pieces. Today we are using it on synthetic hair because I wanna see if I can get this wig back to popping. Now we'll be using this product on a wig that I've already done. It was the Janet Collection Linen Wig. Y'all love that wig so much on all my social media, so I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and run her back real quick and we're gonna style her up again. Y'all can see this wig has been through it. I did wear her a couple times, so she do got little snags at the end. It's a little greasy because of the products that I use. I did put heat to the unit, so it's a little shiny. I'm hoping that maybe this kind of dulls it down a little bit. Let me just put her on real quick so y'all can see what she looking like. Ooh, let me be careful not to give myself a concussion. She is pretty snug on my head, especially because I don't have my um, hair flat under this wig. Ooh, no glue, no glue, sis. And she is sitting. I kind of don't want to wash it because of this hairline. This hairline is looking amazing. <laughs> But I'ma do it, okay? I'ma I'm do it. I wanted to use this wig because I wanted to see if the curls would pop back into place um, or if it would kind of strip the curls a little bit. I don't know, we're gonna, we're gonna see it together, okay? So hair is all washed and clean, it's smelling good. I did blow dry her on warm and high. So this is what we are looking like. It looks pretty good, I'm, I'm kinda shocked. <laughs> Some of the powder that I already had on the lace did come off during the wash. I'm using my 360 Mocha powder. This is the pressed powder from the Maybelline uh, Fit Me collection. I hope I didn't use too much. Now I'm not gonna wear my wig grip because this unit was pretty tight. I am going to unhook the adjustable straps on this unit because my hair is not flat. So I wanna make sure I have enough room in the back bars. <laughs> If you wanna see the initial install of this wig, you can definitely do that. I will link it down below. It feels a lot better than it did when I first put her on. <laughs> it feels really nice on my head. Where's my brush? The curls pop right back in here just as nice. And it actually feels, dare I say, a lot better than the initial install. Okay, I like it, I like it. Just gotta get my curls right. Getting little snags at the end, but they're pulling right through with my fingers, so. I ain't too worried about that. Going with my contour and just tint the side of my lace. Put a little bit more on my on my brush. Ooh, that was really dark. It's okay, it's okay. I gotta blend around my forehead anyway. I wonder if they have a hairspray. That would be perfect. Fix up the rest of the hair. Get the curls back laid how I want them. 
I think I want to put on some hoops and I need to fix my parting space because it's a little ashy. Using my Mocha 360 again. I'm gonna put on some lip gloss. Okay, and I think we are done with this look, y'all. Uh, I think. I will say the way this product formed the curls, you can definitely get them back to how they were out the pack before you brush them because it kind of pops the curls right back. Look at that. It just popped it right back in place. Hold on, I got a little bit of lace right here. I'll cut that off. So this is the final look. I think the hair came out really nice. The hair is very bouncy and soft. It smells amazing. The movement is there. It's not stringy looking. Look at the movement. Again, this hair was not super thick in the first place. So if you see any tracks, ignore it, okay? I know I'm wearing black, but I just wanted to put black on black. Black on black on black on black. That's what I wanted to do. Thank you. <laughs> so I am now a believer because <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> Add it to your cotton. I was not washing no synthetic wig. I've done it, I think, one time, and I didn't want to do it again. But with these products right here, I don't mind it. If it does this to my wig, I don't mind it not one bit. Not one bit. The luster of the hair looks good. Like, it just looks real. <laughs> my synthetic wig look healthy. <laughs> <laughs> but that is all I got for you guys today. Shout out one more time to Janet Collection for sending me these products. I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link for them down below. So if you guys want to check it out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.